We often hear that we should eat vegetables every day, that we should have a good balance of different kinds of vegetables, etc. I'm sure many of you try to consume vegetables by adding salads to your menu and using healthy foods. But why vegetables? How does it help your health? Vitamins, minerals, and dietary fiber are the three most common nutrients contained in vegetables. Vitamins include water-soluble vitamins like vitamin C and fat-soluble vitamins like vitamins A and E, which are soluble in water and fat, respectively. There are about 40 types of minerals, including calcium, potassium, iron, and magnesium, but only 13 types of minerals are specified. Much of it can be obtained from vegetables. When we talk about the function of vitamins and minerals, it is well known that vitamin C helps to produce collagen, calcium builds bones, and iron forms hemoglobin to transport oxygen and carbon dioxide. In addition to these functions, vitamins and minerals have an important job to do. It is to activate the enzymes. There are more than 5,000 kinds of enzymes in our body, each of which plays an essential role for life support. The two main types of enzymes are digestive enzymes, which break down food into a form that is easy to absorb, and metabolic enzymes, which use the nutrients broken down by digestive enzymes to carry out the metabolism necessary for life support. And as the enzyme works, it uses vitamins, especially many water-soluble vitamins and minerals, as coenzymes. In other words, enzymes can't work without vitamins and minerals. In addition, there are certain vitamins and minerals that correspond to each enzyme, so if a particular nutrient is deficient, the activity of the enzyme that needs it will be weakened. When weakened, the enzyme's work, such as its healing and repair functions, detoxification and immunity, can be compromised. That's why it's important to take a variety of vitamins and minerals, and by eating a wide variety of vegetables, you can get a lot of different types of vitamins and minerals. The third type of fiber is water-soluble and insoluble, and we get most of it from vegetables and fruits. A lack of dietary fiber can lead to poor bowel movements and retard healthy intestinal environment and brain function. Lack of vegetables has been linked to disease and mortality. In order to retard disease, the target daily intake of vegetables for adults should be at least 350 grams. Various studies around the world have shown that a zero daily vegetable intake has the highest mortality rate, with the mortality rate dropping as intake increases, and the mortality rate stays about the same up to about 350 to 700 grams per day. 350 grams is one measure of how to stay healthy. As we age, when we eat less, we may lose our appetite simply because of the volume. Try adding boiled legumes and root vegetables as well as raw leaves, and you'll be able to eat them without stress. Chewing also aids digestion and stimulates the brain. It has been reported that chewing power prolongs the lifespan of a healthy person, so it's a good idea to have a chewy dish at least once. Finally, just because vegetables are important doesn't mean that you should just eat them, but rather that you should eat a balanced diet of meat, fish, beans, grains, and other foods, and on top of that, eating vegetables is the most important way to take advantage of the nutrients in them. For more videos about health, subscribe the channel.